Yeah. There's the body right there. So, all right, there's one left. All right, so let's see this. And see if the head part can actually, yes, it can. All right, so that's a strat. Um, as long as he has the upgraded um, head part, then yeah, he can just fill up something like this. No need. To fight the Mavericks up ahead just to grind for um, uh, health drops. So this is actually kind of a reference to um, X1 where Sigma says, um, well, not in time I'll rise like a phoenix, but I will find other bodies strong enough to do my bidding. And I think this is it. Oh, they're full. All right. So, yeah, this is it. Another Sigma body. Yeah, it's a good pass. Yeah, all this. Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah. Hmm. All right. so weird how the and the door disappears mm -hmm. all right Yeah, it's tricky to get that other jump out. There you are. Ah! Stands in place. All right. Kaiser Sigma, also known as Captain American Sigma. No fear.
Slice it. Nope. Has to be up front. There you go. again unfortunately nope not this time in fact get up oh man this is kind of dirty no nope. ah. oh my oh all right get out of here Dude, it's still put out of here. Hey! that song that goes like I'm ready to take a chance again ready to put my life on the line with you I don't even feel like 
forgot what it was. But anyways, yeah. Crushed them once again. But, um... Yep, same old, same old. You know, the fight between humans and reploids just doesn't seem to end. Oh yeah, that's right, we get the big reveal. Actually, I think it's, yeah, a faithful clash with Zero. And, yeah, the reason behind that is... Actually, that gets explained in the, uh, the next game. But... That's, that's a little just out there, don't you think? Alright, and with that... Um, that is Mega Man X3. Also, the little footage that you're seeing right now is from the little black and white footage right there. That is from the PS1 ending. And compared to this, I think the ending looks a little, like, blurry. But yeah, definitely some Nintendo is more clean. But as previously stated, um, quite the whimper of the trilogy on Super Nintendo. Mostly because I'm um, handled by a different studio from what I've heard. And uh, I can definitely see that with, you know, some of the boss fights that just go back and forth. I mean, some of them are pretty formidable. Um, constant backtracking. I think this might be the worst of the trilogy, but... Um, as someone who's quite a bit of a fan of backtracking, I didn't really mind it too much, but yeah, the backtracking here is very, um, whoo boy, there's a lot of it in here compared to the other two. Um, I still like the music in this game, obviously, but I gotta give props to the X1 sound. Um, as I think the instruments in that sound are superior than this one does. And also the fact that Zero's playable, but, you know, comes with a catch. He's not fully playable, as we'll see later on. So, I honestly don't think that this is the worst of the, of the franchise, but... I think it's one of those games that gets, like, an honorable mention. Like, if the boss fights were just better, and maybe the backtracking was less frequent, and if Zero was just fully playable like if x3 introduces character swapping that'd be great but again it's details like that that holds it back but it still finds ways to stand out also as much as i love this music which i think is more upbeat than a little bit of uh, X1s. I gotta give props to the uh, to the one on um, Super, uh, not Super Nintendo, uh, PS1 or Sega pattern. So here's a little, um, here's what that sounds like.
Honestly, I dig this more. I dig this way more. It kind of sounds like uh, Mega Man Legends. So, uh, yeah, with that. Um, but all that said, with um, some of the backtracking issues and Zero just being permanently defeated if he is defeated and not being a full-fledged, swappable, playable character, can't even partake in boss fights. Um, some of the weapons, I think, need to be ironed out more, like the Tornado Fang. I wish it was a close-up weapon, or the Frost Shield, which I think was a bit faster. The um, Some of the capsule parts are pretty cool, like the dashing in that air, or the supercharged shot, which I will agree is kind of wide. Um, that gets addressed in um, a patch for this called the Zero Project. And uh, the radar system, which I think is pretty cool, honestly isn't really that worth it when compared to the auto heal. And... Um, yeah, boss fights I think could be ironed out more, like Tonal Rhino, Blizzard Buffalo, Gravity Beetle, or you know probably even Volcatfish. But some fl bosses like um, Crush Crawfish or Neon Tiger, uh, maybe even Blast Hornet, are simply pretty okay to fight. Um, but other than that, and um, also trying to locate Bit and Bite as a step backwards compared to Hunted on the X Hunters and X2. Um, all these gripes that I have with it don't really kill my motivation to play X3 every now and then. And honestly, I kind of think that X3 can be better if we just had, you know, Maverick Hunter X3, which for some of you that may or may not know that um, it was going to be the case for um, a Maverick Hunter X, say, remake of the X series had it succeed on the PSP, but the closest we're gonna get to that is through the Zero Project. As of right now, I think it's at its best with the 4.8 um, update. Can't be sure on that, but um, with all that, it, uh, it does address some minor issues, but uh, doesn't really address everything. But Zero is fully playable. He can fight bosses. Uh, he does get the weapons. The charged up the the arm upgrade for X has been improved. The auto heal has been improved. Um, some things here and there that I will say about it, but all in due time when I tackle that. But other than that, X3 isn't really. I would say that it's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst either. Um, if it just ironed out all the issues that it has, then I would have no doubt that this would be a um, a high, just way up there, a highly regarded X game, but this is an entry that I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know of, but I encourage anyone to try this out, it's definitely the hardest one, but definitely one that I think is just unfair, but with all that said, um, this is Mega Man X3, uh, whichever version you want to pick up is all up to you, but I recommend this one as your first, uh, as your first go, and I also want to thank every single one of you for seeing this, and stay tuned for the rest of the X-Series.